is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do a few elements to put in this journal and I thought we could um, do these elements together. So I will put this aside for now because we don't need it until we've created what we are about to do. I thought today um, we could make something with a paper bag. Um, I've already done one that is already in the journal, but I, I'm not going to show you just now. I want to make it first with you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find a beautiful piece of paper. I think there's so many here to choose from. Um, let me see what kind I want to. Oh, I like the green. That's not bad at all, actually. But I do love this. So I will take this one. Oh, my goodness, this paper does not want to <laughs> separate from the rest. Okay. I need a pencil. So what I will do is I will cut this part of the paper bag and I will use this. Now be mindful when you use a paper cutter, just because if you go too close to the edge, of course, this will also be cut. So. You can go like a hairline, you know, away from it and you'll be fine. Like so. Ouch. I didn't cut myself, don't worry. It's because my, the skin on my thumb right here is completely cracked. I'm not going to show you too, too close because it's really not pretty. Um, and it opened. So I'm putting all kinds of cream there so it doesn't get infected. But okay, why did this blade not go through? is I don't know why it's not that thick no I don't know why let me try again wow Okay, well, a pair of scissors would have done the same thing, but okay, we managed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This I will keep because I have one or two ideas we could do, I think, with this. So I will put it aside for now. And for right now, we will concentrate on this little piece right here. So this will be the back and this will be the front. So first we will cut the paper. So it fits the front. Now you can do the whole, you know, cover the whole thing or just inside like this and leave some sort of border. I kind of like both ideas. I'm thinking actually, hmm. I will cut mine right here and right there. So, what, uh, I can't see the line, oh yeah, right here, and the other one is right there, these are so much fun to decorate, I really, really love doing that. Oh yes, I really like that it's not to the edge. But first, I will take care of this part. And do I want to... I think I'm going to keep this for the inside. Or I have this paper for maybe the inside. Nope. This would look good here. Yes, I kind of like that too. Beautiful mixture of papers. Why not? Yes, I will do this just that. So I will cut it right here. I could use my scissors for this. I am capable of cutting straight lines when they're short. <laughs> but not much else. I'm not going to lie. It's not even straight. <laughs> oh, you can laugh. You can laugh. You can laugh. Um. Yes, my voice is a little... Is it crooked? Or I don't know how to say it. I did lose my voice um, earlier this week for three whole days. Um, yes, it was not easy to hear 
me speak because the previous week I was sick and I coughed so much for four or five days in a row that earlier this week you couldn't hear me it was so difficult to you know I answered the phone all day and people at my in my office all the time and uh, I would come home at night and whatever I had left in the morning when I woke up which was barely any well then it was completely gone <laughs> by the time my my uh, work day was over there we go. Just make sure to wipe off any excess glue so that this doesn't become glued shut. So remember, the back of the, the bag is the back. So the underneath, if you will, of your paper bag will be the back. And now let's glue this. Yeah, so I lost my voice. It's coming back. I mean, it's pretty good now. At least we can hear me. But it does crack. <laughs> still a tiny bit. And I do get tired because I still make more effort than I would usually make to speak. But it's okay. I'm just happy we can hear me. I don't know everybody's happy about that, but... <laughs> okay. That is nice. Oh, how lovely. I love, love, love it. And I'm thinking of another. Maybe not with patterns. Let me think of something here. Um, hmm. Yes, I have this perfect. I don't know if it's the perfect size. Let me just get this closer. This little piece, I think it would. Hmm. Yes, I think it's nice because it's a... F I like how everything is framed. Yes, I'm going to use that. Don't need to think about this for two days now, do we? Perfect. I love, love, love this. Love it. This is going to look fabulous. Oops. <laughs> fabulous. The thing I do miss is singing. Um, my son and I, when we drive to school and back... All we do is put music and sing the whole way. All kinds of music. And now I can't do that. Let me find something to put here, like some sort of sticker. Oh my goodness, by the way, I got these. They are, they, each pack came with like this bottle, if you will. Like there's many like mason jars and medicine bottles and you know, that you can just glue. I will use one probably in this journal um, but with all these beautiful stickers they're amazing look at that uh, this would look beautiful but it's too big oh my gosh it's amazing oh my god look at this oh oh this is beautiful oh come on it doesn't fit <laughs> Oh, I can't. Okay. Plus, you know what? I already did make mine for the journal, and it is in the journal. So, since I cannot use this one for the journal, um, let me see what else I could use. I have these fussy cuttings. Hmm. This is a moth. Too big. I have mushrooms galore, leaves, that's another, it's too big, hmm, butterflies, birds, I don't know, ah, hold on, okay, I think I found, it. originally I was going to go with the, the rose, and I'm not a fan of roses, I'm sorry. Like, if somebody gives me flowers and they're roses, I'll say thank you. But in my head, I would have much rather flowers, like field flowers or something. Oh, this is nice, too. But I will stick with what I found. For some reason, I like it. So I have other stickers. These are smaller than the ones I just showed you earlier. So I will go with this. I think it looks really, really nice. I don't know if you see that with the glare. There. 
So I'm going to go with this for now because again, we don't want to spend 35 minutes on a relatively small project. Of course, it takes longer when I'm talking. I'm sorry for the close up of, like I said, the skin that's broken out, but I have started to put gel nails again. And of course, I think the drying lamp, you know, with the UV or whatever it's called, LED or UV lights, um, <clears throat> is cracking my skin. So I'm going to have to take the nail polish off and go back to regular polish for a while until my skin heals because I've had this problem before. And where I'm working on camera, it's not very pretty, so I apologize in advance. Oh, yes, look at that. That is so pretty. Yes, and I like this little, just a little piece of nice paper right there. Okay, so now we will go ahead and glue this in the bottom of our paper bag. Just so it's not all beigey. We could have had, you know, add a different kind of paper, but this one's already cut, so although I really do like it. Oh, well. <laughs> It's already cut to size, so... Is it, though? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay. You could also leave it blank. You don't have to add a piece of paper in the bottom of this bag. It's just me that wants that. I do think it's nice when you open it. You know, there's something there. There we go. Just going to move it a tiny bit. Sorry if you don't see much. Just want to make sure it's somewhat centered. I'll be right back. Hold on. I know I'm not in the camera, but I needed to bring this closer to me. There. Okay. Now, again, be mindful of any excess glue or you will close this completely shut and that's not what we want. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I will refold it this way and now I will take, in other words, the part that opens and I will punch a hole right here in the middle right there now you can leave it this way personally I will go ahead and put eyelets like so <laughs> and then first you would I don't know you would grab a few items oops hold on like I don't know a few whatever it is just for the sake of demonstration. There we go. Okay. And then you put a little ribbon. But like I said, you don't have to put eyelets. I just decided to do that because I like it. And then you close it. I think I put paper in the folds that's why it's not it's not flush but once you close it now you have a little something and I will show you in a second you open it and inside you have goodies and it's always a nice surprise to add in a journal I will put this one aside and we'll show you the one in of the journal let me back up a tiny bit Okay. And I put mine right here, like so, because I glued, so the bottom here, I just glued that in the journal itself. And then you open it. Now my fingers are hurting, so I have trouble, this, this thumb especially. And there you go. And now you have all kinds of goodies, of course, related to the journal that you can use 
to decorate. I think this is such a sweet idea. And I don't know, I thought it was cute. <laughs> so that's one thing you can do to embellish a journal. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. Of course, on camera it does. But if you're quiet, doing it yourself, you know, without chit-chatting 10 minutes and this is done, not even. So, yeah, there you go. I will take these out, however, because they don't match the, the whole theme of this bag. But you can make this to the theme of the journal you're making. So I will keep that because we all know I make a lot of botanical stuff. So this will just be an element that's already done. Very useful to have. Okay. Now, what else could we do? Um, so... I put, this is fussy cutting by the way, it's it's not a printed image, it's just fussy cutting and I glued it to this page. I made these in a video with you as well, those are so lovely. I'm just trying to figure out what else we could do. This is a journal, like I said, it's not done and that's why the signatures are not sewed in. I'm still unsure if I want to sew them in, uh, maybe put a rope around them like an elastic rope of some sort so that whoever purchases it can take the sheets out and decorate I am unsure um, this is a, a bookmark that I made watercolors and I made a video for that too I'm just going to give it in the journal and now I'm trying to figure out see I have this like I said uh, well no not like I said you weren't there <laughs> I uh, just showed a one of my altered book journal that that is finished and I covered it with this and I have leftover now. I'm looking to see if I could use that to make a pocket at the bottom of a page. It is so lovely that I think we must. This was an envelope in which the mulberry paper came in and it was made of thicker paper handmade paper with the flowers and oh my goodness is it ever so lovely since there's a natural fold here not that this would be enough for you know another tuck but just this would just be decoration and this would be the pocket part this is what I'm going to do so I will take these pieces put them back they're precious very precious there's so many things I can do with these pieces now I know we're all some kind of hoarders uh, when it comes to paper uh, because we love paper but I mean look this is a lot let me just back up here this is a lot of leftover from that envelope this piece as well here look at that that's big you know I don't want to uh, I do not want to trash this absolutely not I can do many many things with that so I will not discard this at all I think I would order the paper just to get the envelope again <laughs> that's how wonderful this envelope is and I covered a whole book with it so I mean that's not nothing you know I've used every part of this purchase <laughs> okay so how about we go ahead and do that I could have sewn it in but I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm unsure. No, I'm just going to glue it. That is lovely. Beautiful. Goes with the theme of the journal I'm trying to create. I will just glue the other side shut because as I said, I don't think it's big enough to tuck anything in. I mean, I could, but there's enough. There's going to be enough. Not everything has to be a tuck spot. What do you think? Sometimes I feel it's it can be too much. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so fun to touch. 
there this is perfect I love that then you can grab a nice ephemera whether you made it or purchased it doesn't matter just to show and even the purchased ephemera by the way I embellish them I mean nobody said you couldn't stamp something on this you know or add a flower oh this is lovely though this and it's all oh wait you don't you can't see that let me look at that very delicate perfect for this situation what else could I add maybe something a little bigger um, oh this is pretty this is vellum with printed flowers on it how fitting there you go you know me I will add as much not as much I mean I could fill this journal but I will add a lot of goodies there that's beautiful it, it's almost like it decorates the page just by adding beautiful paper sometimes sometimes you have to keep it simple like I said this this first thing is just me fussy cutting an image and gluing it to this journal you know not everything has to be complicated not everything has to have all kinds of folds and openings and tucks sometimes a journal is just a journal do you know what I mean I mean I, I make junk journals and I love when there's all kinds of sewing and pockets and things to flip and open absolutely and sometimes I want a journal because I want to write in it because I want to glue my own things in it and I'm feeling that this journal will be exactly that with you know a few added like this is a this is a nice stuck spot right here let me show you with a piece of paper so this is just a piece of, of a book um, I folded it and I decided that it'd be nice to have two tuck spot just like that so it's a double if you will and of course I inked the edges I glued a few washies and a beautiful sticker and there you go and it's sewed but it's not sewed in the journal because I did want to sew here so I made this aside and then I glued, glued it in there I think the stick it wants to be there this piece of paper <laughs> let me find something oh yes that is pretty but hold on oh that's very close my goodness Chantal there we go <laughs> I'm having trouble there how about we put this right here and this right there that's perfect see doesn't take that much what else did I do what else could we do I'm trying to see so we did we just did this um, hmm another fussy cutting that I glued I don't think there's a whole lot to do in this journal to tell you the truth I think it's beautiful and simple and I think I want to keep it this way I want to I don't know, really love the paper I printed those papers on um, parchment no yes it's called parchment paper but it's not the one you cook with <laughs> it's a thicker paper that already has some color to it and instead of being the white background it gives it this beige I really like it now see this could use some decoration I think we're going to do just that I think yes I think I'm I'm going to try and decorate this page right here I'm gonna use some clips because this keeps folding on me let me see here okay perfect so I think something that would look easy and lovely hold on let me go grab it it's um, this hand backing hand writing background I love and I even love it on top of the writing that's already there it just I don't know and maybe I'll just put it here where there's no writing Ooh, that would be nice um, maybe I'll choose dark yeah why not okay let me 
just get off of my journal so I don't. And let's try. If it doesn't work, this is just a book page. So I can just rip another and replace it. I could also have used a spray. I have these uh, oxides distress something sprays but since I do have the brush now I don't recommend you try that with those little foam pads that we use for ink to ink edges because I think it won't go through the little designs if you have a bigger design yes but intricate small detailed like this handwriting I doubt it would work so Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I love it. Oh, it almost looks like it's been burned through. Let me see if you can see this better. Hold on. Camera angle is all not good. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I will move it. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Oh my, I love it. Love, love, love it. Oh, this is pretty. And then we can put a flower. Because again, this is a flower slash botanical, whatever you want to call it, journal. So, a flower must be there. So, I'm not sure if I want to... Did I cut, fussy cut anything else? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, this would... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's it. There you go. That's what I'm doing. That's it. Simple, simple. I could also, if you don't have, of course, what I have. Look, it's black and white. Use a stamp. Many of you have beautiful flower stamp. A big one. Smack right in there. You got yourself something perfect. You don't have to make it complicated. <laughs> I think I will use double-sided tape like this. Um, the reason is because I'm fearing putting liquid glue on vellum. I have had very little luck. Just hope it doesn't show through too much. Just gonna cut the excess here. There you go. I could try maybe little droplets on the side. Maybe little little dots. Something very yeah, just like that. I know that if I you know go with my finger like I just did then it's really barely a film of glue, if you will. And it's usually perfect. There. That should do it. Oh my goodness, I love it. See, that was simple. And again, if you don't have that, a flower stamp would have done the same thing. It would have been just as visually stunning as this is. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. Okay, well, that's a good idea we just had. <laughs> um, what else could we do? I don't want to overly decorate this journal. Like I said, I feel it looks amazing the way it is. And I don't know, I just don't want to overcomplicate it. I'm just trying to see what I have here that could be used mm. I like that but I don't know oh yes these little rulers they don't fit this journal but I will have to find a journal in which they would <laughs> oh look at that simple love it I'm going to use that see what I mean you don't have to overdo it a simple sticker in the corner, a stamp, and you're decorating your journal. Also, um, 
some uh, again I'm going to have to trouble to say it it's not matte medium it's it's not structure gel how do you call it I'm gonna have to go get the bottle so I can say it okay texture paste I went ahead and I got it but now that I have it I have to use it so <laughs> so look at this this is just beautiful this I really love it and you you know we leave a lot of space for decorating so we're not really taking anything away but let's say on a simpler page like this we could add texture paste and you would still see what's behind but it would add a visual if you will and you don't have to put it everywhere so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to clip this to the page so it doesn't move uh, let me see here hmm. let me see yeah right there uh, like that okay and there perfect where's my spatula there it is perfect so now let's just put some here and there it doesn't need to be everywhere we just want to add some interest there this will be lovely just like that perfect oh I might have ruined it no it fell back into place Whew. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie my heart stopped there for a second okay I will show you in close-up because of course on the white with the reflection of the light you can't see much right now see look at that this is instant interest and beauty to a page that was lovely I mean the images are lovely but come on this is a lot better right now all of a sudden that's just like what I've done on the other page where we added the um, the um, distressed oxide with the brush and then glued something like it was a sticker or you could have stamped same same thing right so I'm gonna dry this don't be too close when you dry because it, this will start cooking and making bubbles the reason I know is clearly because I've done it <laughs> and I've cooked it and it changes colors you don't want that well I really really do love the effect this is really beautiful and it's so subtle it's perfect so I have rub um, those are transfer me um, and I'm just wondering where I could add more beauty I'm not a fan of roses but in this type of book it does have its, its place like this you know to add something hmm that's actually quite pretty right there why don't we do that now the challenge with these is um, they need water and we don't want to wet everything but this is the parchment paper I was telling you so it's a little thicker than photocopy paper so I should be able to get away with it hopefully otherwise I'll have to reprint this journal page right here so how you do it is you take you peel the um, plastic film off so when you see an image always remember that it will be this way so kind of trying to see through I think you can see that I don't want my flowers this way so I think I'm going to have them this way so just like that and then you could use a sponge or if you've prepped your your page before to protect it like let's say with gesso which is what I could have done um, then you don't have to worry too too much but this is not the kind of surface I would usually uh, use gesso with so I will just wet the back of a paper towel it'll take a little longer but it will avoid putting paper all over my journal I also could have taken this page out but I did not <laughs> maybe I should I don't know I just don't want to lose where I am here that's why I'm going that's what I'm going to do let me just take this move move everything out of the way there that way I know where I was and I'm not ruining anything else these 
are a little bit like rub-ons, except you don't rub. <laughs> you need water. You slide them off. <laughs> You'll see. When your paper becomes transparent, translucent, and starts moving, you know you're done. It's just taking more time for me, clearly, because I'm doing this with very little water since I don't have a protected page. Um, but it would go a lot faster otherwise. I just want to see if it's working or if I have to keep wetting the paper. I can't grab it. No, not yet. Not everywhere anyways. In the middle I can see when the paper is translucent, usually you're almost there. I didn't do it the proper way, so it'll take you a little longer. I'm not too worried about the rest of the paper. It will dry, so it's all part of the look anyways. As long as it doesn't damage the paper. Okay, I can't grab anything. I cut my nails and now I have nothing to lift anything. Ah, the struggle is real. I'm trying to find my needle. Oh, can't find it. My fingers hurt so much. Hold on. Oh, goodness. There. Oh, I ripped a tiny part of it. Actually, not really, because it's kind of the edge of... Oh, yeah, actually, I like the effect. Sometimes it's funny how you think you might have damaged something, but then the overall look is better. <laughs> like ripped paper, you know, the whole journal thing. I'm, I'm just going to dry this. Now I'm going to bring the whole journal back. I'm just going to move this. And that's the page we were at. And there you go. Oh, I love it. It looks really nice. Yes. I love it. It's perfect for this journal. See, I'm not a rose person, but I have to say this is really beautiful. So I think this will be it for today. The hope, the hope I'm getting, the, the, what I'm hoping with this video is that you see that you have many things in your arsenal and all your stuff. I, would, I didn't even touch washi tapes really, and I have a lot of those as well. Um, with flowers and such like this. This is like just the border right here with flowers. I could I could just Put a whole piece there and I probably will or something like that You have a lot of stuff. You have stickers Images that you can fussy cut or you can rip the images and ink the edge of the rip and glue it on the paper um, You can sew pieces of papers together to make uh, side tucks like the one I did right here there's so many possibilities and the fussy cutting my goodness i know i keep saying it but isn't it just beautiful um you have a lot of possibility this is just the images that i printed on the book page uh so see this is printed on the book page and this is glued on the book page you have all kinds of options and i hope that by me showing you real quick just a few things um that'll give you ideas of what to do this is a sticker super simple you know fussy cutting and um, the texture paste we use if i can find it oh and this little quick pocket right there then when you turn the page you have this that's just adding and i'm probably going to do something here as well um i'm not done with this journal clearly there's a lot of things to do i just wanted to jump right in do a few things with you oh there it is oh my goodness the texture paste it is absolutely lovely i love 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 the feel so just to give you a few ideas today of things you can do to make your journal more interesting because again like i said at the beginning you don't have to have all kinds of flips and openings and gadgets and things that are sewed in is it not perfect and beautiful yes it is so much fun to do but you don't have to sometimes you want just regular pages of a journal but you want the the pages to be interesting that's a way to do it and you can add a few things like the side pockets and this little thing here 
but it doesn't have to be throughout the journal. Sometimes you feel like making a journal a little more intricate. Sometimes you um, are looking more of, for, of a um, toned down version, if you will, to give more freedom to the person who will actually use the journal. And that is absolutely fine. You don't have to make it complicated. Um, these, by the way, are little seed packets and I just um, printed, uh, no, stamped, I mean, on top of the image because again you don't have to leave images the way they are you can transform them however you please so I think I will end this video today I thank you for watching I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia Canada I hope you're all happy healthy and safe and I say thank you for watching see you soon bye <laughs> bye bye